You cannot make decisions in your life without divine instruction from God. These instructions from God are followed in different steps from instructions directed by man because with God, you have full conviction about the decision you are about to take and you are backed by heaven. Following God's instructions gives you confidence. When God says wait, you wait on purpose and reason. When God says move on, keep mute and watch. And when God is telling you to take action over a thing, you do it with all the confidence in you because you know you are following the instructions that God has given you without fear of regret, no matter what people say to you. It may seem like you are running out of time and it is taking too long for God's appointed person to come, but God is saying you should wait for his instruction. Not being in a relationship can make you to become lonely, but God is saying do not be in haste. Do not make hasty decisions and just get involved with someone that is not destined for you. You may come under pressure while waiting. A lot of people may also start making comments that make you uncomfortable, telling you how unreasonable your decision to wait on the Lord is. But God is saying you should wait for his divine instruction. They want you to move on with life instead of keeping your life on hold for someone God has designed for you. When God tells you to wait for that person, be assured that that person is God's favorite. You have to understand that when God says wait, it is for a good reason and for your interest because his plans for you are always good. Without you, God is still God, but without God, you are nothing. And this is the reason you have to wait on that person because God has asked you. Do not let your desires clash with God's plans for you. If the will of God is for you to wait till he is ready for you, then you should wait. Wait till God says he is ready to change your status quo. Till the time is right, you have to wait and never regret waiting. Understanding this will make you live a life of ease and peace while you journey on earth towards your destiny. That person is coming for you, but you have to wait. You do not have to rush into a relationship with just anyone because you feel God is taking longer than you expected. Wait on the Lord and you will indeed have the best he has planned out for you. Because you are on a journey into the purpose and the will of God, there is a need for you to learn. You have to wait for that person, not necessarily because that person is not ready, but because you are not properly equipped to go into that phase of your life. God wants you to get all of the experiences you need to guide you in that phase of your life. That relationship, that marriage is a mission that God is about to send you into, but he wants you to gather all the experiences you need experiences to cope with that person, understanding the person and how they handle relationships. You have to learn some certain things about life. Learn things that will guide you in that relationship so that you do not make the mistakes that can affect you in the future. This is why you should wait on that person from God. Some people want to jump into relationships these days without working on themselves. They do not want to be left out in the society of dating. Some of them just came out of a relationship. They have not sat down to ask God why that relationship did not work out, what mistakes they made, what wrong steps they took, and what God wants them to adjust in their lives. They just want to jump into another relationship. This is why the society is filled with so many broken people jumping from one relationship to the other without working on the lapses that have in their personalities, their criteria in looking for a spouse. But as children of God, this should not be that case. You might have been in a relationship that did not play out the way you wanted, but God has a reason for that. He wants you to learn and get ready for the one he has chosen for you. Although this may seem like an old saying, but the message never gets old to the wise. The words of the wise men said in the holy book that there is time for everything in life. Everything concerning man's life is seasonal in accordance to the word of God. The society we live in today has made life in a way that if one does not achieve a particular feat at a particular point in their lives, the person is termed a failure. This ranges from marriage to jobs to education to childbirth and more. Delayed marriage is an issue that is used to taunt many individuals in the society today. A lot of men and women feel pressure into getting married. In most cases, because of their families, friends, and the society pressured them into making such decisions. This is the reason why there is a high rate of divorce, while those who cannot get a divorce for certain reasons are living miserable lives with their spouses. This is not God's plan for his children. 
He wants us to wait, no matter the circumstance, for the one He has chosen for us. You have to wait for that person because the time is not right yet. You have to wait for that person because it is God's plan for you. Do you want to wait for God's divine blessing for you or you would rather go into a relationship with the wrong person to keep the mouth of your mockers shut? Your decision will determine your future. God does not use or send someone he has not prepared on a mission. Marriage or relationship is a journey and as well a task to make things work out for the major purpose of the will of God. Sometimes, that person God has destined for you may be taking forever to come to you because God is still working on him or her for you. There may be lapses in the life of that person God is trying to adjust for your sake. It may be personality-wise, spiritual-wise or financial-wise. These areas God may be trying to fix in the life of that His child He has kept in store for you to give you that life you deserve because His plans for you are good and not evil. So. God is still working on that person. If God has told you that he will settle you in the area of marital breakthrough, then wait and believe in him. You may not know the essence of the delay, but God is telling you that it is not what you are thinking. The reason you have to wait is that the person is going through certain things that will make them fit into God's plan for you. If you rush in without divine guidance and instruction from God, you will fall out of his favor and the life which you desired to have may not be achievable. Wait on the Lord, that person he has designed for you will come. Do not be discouraged, do not listen to the pressures from the society and see the Lord do his wonders in your life. Tell all those putting you under pressure that God is involved and he knows how to redeem all the time that seem to have been lost as far as you are doing the will of the Lord. The things you want for yourself are things that might later come to shoot you in the leg. In making a choice, especially when it comes to the issue of marriage, you have to have an open heart that can accommodate what God wants for you. Otherwise, you end up making a wrong choice that you come to regret later in life. When it comes to choosing a spouse, your priority should not be their looks or what they possess. In other words, don't place too much focus on the external appearances of an individual. Rather, your choice should be what God wants for you. That should take priority when you are considering a life partner. Then all things can follow. So you just have to trust that God knows what and who is best for you. You have to believe that when he says you should go with a particular person, he is making the right choice and you won't end up regretting following his instructions. Looks can be deceiving and the things that you're looking out for may fail you in the end. Beauty is not a guarantee of a beautiful marriage, nor do riches secure a home. Otherwise, why do many beautiful ladies end up in homes where they're being abused and why do the rich often divorce each other at the end of it all? Moreover, all of those things are ephemeral and can fade within the twinkling of an eye.